Hi there! I'm so excited to be able to share this recipe with you today. For my entree, I'm going to be making Oysters Rock My Philly Stew. So I'm so excited to be able to share this with you. I'm going to start off by showing you all of our ingredients. We have five slices of bacon that I've already chopped up. We're going to use four tablespoons of this butter. We're going to use four tablespoons of flour. We're going to use one and a half cups of fresh chopped spinach. Use one medium onion. We're going to use four ribs of celery, a large polano pepper, a sweet red bell pepper. We're going to use garlic. We have one quart of half and half. And we're going to be using one and a half pounds of the small red potato, the oysters. This is one quart of fresh shucked oysters. We're going to use some dried parsley. One tablespoon of Old Bay seasoning, one tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce, and one quarter teaspoon of ground white pepper. And of course, we're going to be using 16 ounces of Philadelphia cream cheese. Good one. So we're going to keep our eye on this for a minute. We're going to go ahead and chop our veggies up. Once this is finished, we're going to pull it out of the bacon grease and drain it on a paper towel and save the crispy bacon for the end. And we're going to use all that yummy bacon fat along with four tablespoons of butter to saute our veggies in. We're going to add in four tablespoons of butter, half a stick, into the bacon grease. Carefully into the bacon grease. Saute our veggies down until they get nice and tender. We've got the vegetables tenderizing here. We're going to go ahead and add in the rest of the seasoning. We've got the Old Bay, the white pepper, and the Worcestershire sauce. My dad calls it what's the sear sauce. That's how he was taught how to say it. We'll just mix that in. Oh, it smells delicious. I can't wait to add that Philadelphia cream cheese to my oyster. Rock my Philly stew. It's going to thicken up the broth and make that stew so thick. It's going to be delicious. I'm going to go ahead and cheese up our potatoes. We're just going to set these aside until we're ready for them. The vegetables are nice and tender. We're going to go ahead and add in our flour and we're going to stir that around into that butter and bacon grease real good so we don't get no lumps. We're making a roux to thicken our stew along with the Philadelphia cream cheese. So you don't need that much flour. Getting all them bits up off the bottom for flavor. You just want to scrape it good. Make sure you get them all. That looks good. We're going to go ahead and slowly add in our chicken stock. Stir that for a minute or two and then we're going to add in our half and half. It smells delicious. You can smell the garlic and the peppers. 
No old basic. Smells like home. Smells like company's coming. Paula, are you coming for dinner? We're going to go ahead and add in the half and half. Once this comes up, we're going to add in our potatoes. Simmer. Bubble around for about 10 minutes. Come get a look at this. Look how pretty. All these vegetables. We're going to add in the Philadelphia cream cheese as soon as the potatoes become slightly fork tender. We have our spinach a rough chop. We're just going to set this aside till the end. Potatoes are nice and tender. We're going to go ahead and add in our 16 ounces of softened Philadelphia cream cheese. Now that the Philadelphia cream cheese has melted down into our Rock My Philly stew, oyster stew, that is, we're going to add in our oysters. Living here on the Gulf Coast, we get some of the biggest oysters you've ever seen. I'm just going to go ahead and add them in, juice and all. Give them a nice stir around. We're going to cook these, I like to cook them about 15 minutes. If you don't, a little less, it'll be okay. And we'll go ahead and add in the spinach as well. Stir that around. Look how awesome. The Philadelphia cream cheese is rocking my oyster stew. Look at that. Our Rock My Philly stew is complete. So I've scooped out a little bit to cool off a second for me to take a taste. Just come on in here and look at all the, the oysters and the spinach. Philadelphia cream cheese. Thickened it up so nicely and it's just so creamy. It's absolutely delicious. Now I'm going to show you how I plate this up extra special. We're going to add that bacon that we fried up at the beginning. Just going to pile it up on top. Makes it extra delicious. And some fresh parsley. I have the dried parsley today. But fresh is always better. We're going to serve ours with some little biscuits, and I've made a little lemon cup out of four ounces of Philadelphia cream cheese, four tablespoons of butter, the lemon juice, and put it right back in there. So when you serve it up, you can put that on top or have it with your biscuit. It's delicious. Thank you to Paula, and thank you to Philadelphia cream cheese. I'm having so much fun making all these wonderful dishes.